Jocko? Hold on, hold on. Jocko monthly after taxes was making. Welcome to another episode of the Wrestle Super Mindset Podcast. I'm your host, Vince, joined with my co-host, Cody. What's up? Today is the accounting podcast. It's the accounting podcast. I'm going to put my accounting glasses <laughs> for all those of you tuning in on YouTube. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to keep these on. It lets me read numbers better. Cool. All right. Mm. So, Cody, why don't we brief people as to how we're going to run this show so they don't this fall asleep a, at the wheel. Yeah, this show is unprecedented unprecedented in rsm terms so vince and i seem to have a huge issue well we'll get into that yeah first of all we seem to have a huge issue <laughs> with saying a certain word um i guess what word is that vince have you said it i feel like you've said no it. i don't think I so <laughs> i just said it i just said it in saying that you might have yeah. just said it it's the word so the like. word the word like so here's what we're going to do we want to stop Basically, we need to train ourselves so we're, so we're more like Jocko. We don't want to say the word like anymore. So we have introduced some incentive not to say the word like in the form of hot sauce and yeah, hot so peppers. I feel like we're infringing on copyrights here with the Hot Ones show. I feel like they're going to come after us. I feel like they have complete and exclusive rights on anything hot sauce related. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like on a show. So. so this is more, but they use it as a form like to to get their guests to loosen up a little bit, we're going to mm. use it as a form of punishment. So yeah. I think that's a different different type of show. Yeah, we'll see what the lawyers say at the end of it. We'll yeah. see uh, We'll see if our liability is there in, in good order. Yeah. Yeah. So I know you have a huge assortment of hot sauces. I only I do. have, I have, you, let's go through yours first. Okay, because so you more. On, a, on the Scoville scale is what they rank hot sauces on. Uh, it starts pretty much at Frank's Red Hot Sauce, just classic what you would put on some some chicken. Yep. Very nice low on the Scoville. Yeah. So that's 450. Then you bump it up to Sriracha. So Sriracha is 2,200 on the Scoville level. Then, surprisingly, Cholula is above that at 3,600 Scoville scale. Then we go up, surprisingly, Tabasco's hotter than that, just by a little bit at 3,750 on the Scoville level. And lastly, this. So this is where we encountered an issue is Canada, you know, to us, hot is minus three degrees Celsius, right? So Or some is, pepper. Yeah. So there's no, there's no such thing as like the super hot sauces that you get in America, such as Colorado, where you're located. So I had to get the Momento de Muerte hot sauce, which I think ranks at 85,000 on the Scoville level and lastly i have mm. the classic what is this called again this is an habanero pepper mm. yeah. which is very high in the scoville it ranges from what i've been researching 85 to 200 000 scoville right yeah um so it ranges based on um many things which i don't yeah. really care to know all right so let's set the parameters before Oh, we'll just go through my hot sauces. Oh, yeah, sorry. Yeah. So I have way less. I only brought, I brought two forms of punishment because I want to be really strict with my saying of the word that we will not mention. So number one, this is Marie Sharp's habanero pepper sauce. Looked it up on the scale, and it's roughly 85,000 Scoville. So we just jump up to the elite level there. Um, and to top it off... <laughs> I got one habanero pepper and a little other one because they were really cheap, so I bought two. Um, here's a little plot twist. One time I <laughs> one time I bought habanero peppers, stick in there a different pepper, put them on a sandwich, and died. <laughs> <laughs> it was so it was so bad. I actually like I cut it up into little slivers and I ate it like a sandwich with like half a habanero on it. It was so hot. What happened? I mean, the sandwich is actually really good, but I was out of commission for like 10 to 20 minutes on the couch. <laughs> what does out, get, out of commission look like? Does your stomach Did, ache you're laying there? Not really stomach ache. It's like just so hot in your head. Like your mouth's on fire. You can't really think. So you're just laying on the couch there waiting for it to go away. 
I'm really sweating. Bad. I'm sweating in excitement <laughs> of this. I'm already hot. I'm going to have to take the sweater off. I'd say let's set this parameter as well. So every time we say like, every time we I say we should add um, every time we say like, every time we say um, oh. we take a shot. We'll increase it. Now, I have some lesser than evil hot sauces. So every time like we'll start at the oh i just said like but we haven't started yet so we're good yeah it doesn't start yet. yeah so i'd say every like is one sauce and what would we say every three we incrementally get harder and then we just yeah, stick at the hardest one i mean the habanero one's gonna be pretty brutal so okay i'm gonna i'm gonna kind of go off of what you're doing but as you start get to i'm gonna like stick with the habanero sauce that i have and then as it gets later in the show, I'm going to go into the pepper. Okay. Didn't you have Frank um, sauce too, so we can match? I have Frank's red hot, extra hot. Uh, but I just want to I want to keep it pretty high. I want to keep on the habanero pepper sauce. I'm okay. just going to try to, if I start saying like a lot, I might go get the Frank's. Cody's just <laughs> alpha dogging me on the show I'm here. Trying to, so. Yeah, yeah, so we'll see. Okay, so we'll, we'll work it from there. And then this is a live show that, it's not live at all, but... It's going to be unedited on YouTube nonstop, regardless of what happens here <laughs> and on the show. If we have to pee, puke, throw what, whatever we're doing, it's it's staying live. So staying live, yeah. Not going to be edited there. And if and somebody has to get off camera, the others narrating during yeah. that that intermission, if you will. That said, we're not here to just talk hot sauces today. We're here to talk military accounting. That's right. I don't even know if you'd call it accounting. It's more just. I know, but I put my accounting glasses on. Okay. <laughs> so I'm going to call it military accounting. God, just agree with me on this one. Shit. Okay. Should we add curse words? No. No, no, no. no. We're going to curse. No. You can, yeah, it's fine. <laughs> yeah. Curse or something. Okay. All right. So you're right. It's not quite a. Oh, what? That's um. Here we go. Oh, you said um? All right. I said um. We got to keep it. I'm going to keep a tally. I'm going to try to keep yeah. a tally of how many times. Okay. On the so we're just going to do a dab. With Frank's hot sauce. Um, that, Very light. I just said, um, in saying. <laughs> By the way, it doesn't count when you mention that somebody said, this is hotter than I thought. Yeah. Frank's hot right. sauce. This is what hotter is that? than I thought. It's hotter than I thought. Frank's so I just, red hot is not hot. It's yeah. like a cayenne pepper. Yeah, but it's pretty hot. Um, <laughs> damn it. I just keep saying it. All right. So I'm going on three here. Okay. So that was three of Frank's. Moving on. It's not military accounting. We're going to break down in excruciating definition and accuracy, just like an accountant. The military pays for different amazing people. That we some all fictional. Some, some yeah, that we all know <laughs> and love in the military world. So should I break it down, Cody? Or do you want to do this? I can kind of work. I mean, I'm not sure the order we're going to go through here. And if I say the word or the other word, just let me know. Yep. So... Basically, what we're doing here is breaking down three, four, depending on how you want to count, different uh, pay scales. There's an um. So I'm going to do a little hot sauce. <laughs> there you go. So the three different individuals that we're breaking down today, actually four, right? The first is the one, the only moi, Vincent. And the second in that same vicinity of. Oh, that's pretty hot. <laughs> <laughs> that was the habanero sauce <laughs> so we're gonna break down my pay as well. <clears throat> i'm choking on the franks already and cody's pay as well in our prior service so in this scenario we're pretending like ah oh, we're pretending sriracha I'm, I'm stepping my game up so we're gonna pretend as if we're in the military today at the same rank and time of service as we were then see if that makes yeah. sense so it's based on what you be, would pay now. Yeah, it's all approximate. Obviously, it's not exactly what they made or what we made. But we're just trying to give you a ballpark because everyone wants to know how much people make in the military. We get the question a lot. The cool thing is most of the questions, are, they're online. You can just look it up. So yeah. that's what we did. We basically just went on and looked it up online. So, And by the way, we're not deadly accurate here. We're probably missing some extra incentive pays. That's why I said approximate. Yeah. But, you know, we, we did our research. <laughs> yeah. We did the best we could in the in. 10 minutes before this podcast. I'm just kidding. We, yeah. we did we did do our research. And so uh, if there's any yeoman, so the, the paper pushers out there, you know, getting angry, that's fine. Whatever. But so let's let's do let's lowest go. ranking to highest ranking. Yeah. So. Uh, oh, so what's cute about this sriracha that I'm doing again for the second time now is it's sweet at first and you're 
thinking, oh, this is like a little weenie hot sauce. Dude, but I think sriracha it, is kind of weenie. Then it then it hits you. <laughs> oh, so, okay. <laughs> so I've moved up from the Franks to the sriracha on, on round two. So well. let's break it down. I'm going to be the lowest rank here because I was in the Coast Guard the least amount of time as an E4 with less. We're going to go. We've ranked me at three years. So E4 with three years is going to be my pay. And then we cool. also are assessing Cody as an E4 with six years. That's going to be the lower ranks. Pretty similar pay, but slight differences, you know, but yeah. Now the other people will, the other person that we're going to be evaluating is none less but Senior Chief Ben Randall from The Guardian. The, the Guardian. Six movie. And what's, so... I really broke it down. I dove into Google. The Guardian was filmed in 2006, which made Kevin Costner, the actor that played Ben Randall in The Guardian, 51 years old. Now, based on the plot of the movie, in my opinion, I would guess, and Cody, hopefully you agree with me, I would guess he joined the Coast Guard around the age of 19, based on the fact that he was a previous record holder. It seemed like, oh, damn it. Yeah, because he even said, he says in the movie, and I recently did watch the movie. That's why I know this. Mm-hmm. He says when he was talking about he was talking about Ash and how he's breaking all the rec- records. And he was I think he was talking to Maggie, the freaking owner of that bar in the movie, how he wasn't 19 anymore. So oh, I think so he, he must have been 19. 19. Yeah. So then my math is accurate that he was approximately 32 years of service in the Coast Guard as a senior chief at the time. That you know, the guardian is supposed so to. So I I don't really know. I need to like I said like, but I'll I'll do my hot sauce in a second here. I'm doing my last big dab of sriracha because I did. I'll just do mine now. One. Yeah, it's just a little little bit. I'm not doing too much because it's super hot. Okay, I'm moving on from these weenie oh. sauces. <coughs> so red hot Frank's and sriracha's going away. Bye bye. Okay. Yeah. So continue. But yeah, so I think a senior chief with 32 years that would be that would be kind of accurate. Although I don't know what the higher tenure is for a senior chief, but that seemed like he'd be like close. I said like closing in on that, you know, like beginning close to master. You said chief. it again. Yeah, I'll do a couple big drops here yeah. on my spoon. There's you two, should put it on camera because people need to know. Oh, yeah. you're not lying to them. So I use I use Mag or uh, Marie's. Yeah, let's see your finger spoon. though. <laughs> it looks like you're smoking crystal meth of hot <laughs> sauce. <laughs> oh, I should put it on my finger. <laughs> should get a layer. <laughs> Okay, so, so yeah, I don't know about the, the higher tenure, but the fact is Kevin Costner was 51 during the filming of The Guardian, which would mean if he entered around 19 years old that he was 32 years in as a senior chief in the Coast Guard, which has cool. tremendous benefits because pays are associated as at least a basic pay is associated to how many years of service you have. So he has a lot. Tons of years. Great. And Cody, who is our final highest ranking person that we're going to be breaking down today jocko jocko willink <laughs> okay. so yeah he is he reached the pay grade of e4 but i did both he was a prior enlisted so i went through and broke down e5 jocko and o4 jocko Ugh, so many numbers now all right here we go yeah. so should we get into it before we do one thing I found out is it seems like, well, the military pay does increase every year based on inflation and whatnot. And uh, and it's it's like right now it increased. Oh, I think I said like. So it's roughly, <clears throat> yeah, one to three percent, right? One to two. Yeah. But uh, like so last year it increased to three by three point one percent in 2020. And recently it increased to three percent. Sorry, my mouth is actually a little hot. <laughs> It's pretty hot. <laughs> so, yeah, this year it only increased by 3%. Um, damn it. So I'm up to Cholula now, which is apparently hot, but it doesn't feel that bad. Okay. Um, mm, again. And at the end, we're going to get into the habanero peppers. We're just going to have to take a slice of one and suffer through it. I think it. we should take all of it. No, you don't want to. So don't, anyway. It'll ruin your night. <laughs> so, yeah, there's a pay raise every year. Uh, take that into consideration. I said, um, again, now the other thing that's just fun facts is within the military, you get approximately 30 days paid vacation per year. So that's 2.5 days per month of service, which is also a benefit. And 
the thing that we learn about the military is it's all about the benefits, it's not just the base pay. So we're really going to break down everything you get. Yeah. Not everything but uh, the Well, and the costs of, you know, one of the big expenses is expenses is healthcare, you know. And yeah. That's covered. Didn't even think of that. Yep. It's free. Okay, <laughs> so let's get into the E4 Vince pay and then we can transition to mine. Great. I feel like a weenie. I'm not going to touch the milk for a while because that's cheating. <laughs> that's cheating. Um, yeah. I said um. Cool. All right. I think we need to get rid of the um and just use like because no, I think, I think we'll have too like, many pauses. I think it's, yeah, okay. Uh, or, or we just do it. Let's just not keep right. it. We keep ourselves accountable, but we know. Okay. Great. So Vince, I wanted to address the fact that I was an E3 in less than two years and the pay for that after taxes is about $22,000 a year. So that This is just the basic pay. Then I eventually got to being an E4 with approximately three years of service, which put me at $27,000 per year, which is $2,200 a month approximately. Cool. Cody, on the other hand, was an E4 with six years. Loaded. So, yeah, so that was a $200 more per month, which came out to about $30,000 a year. This is just his basic pay, not benefits. We're going to get through that after. Yeah, so should we let's let's talk senior chief Ben Randall now. Senior chief with 32 years of service. So again, it's associated to how much years to time in service that you have. He is a salty sailor, a salty dog, a sea dog as they call them. He made $6500 per month, which equivalents to Sorry, that was before taxes. So after taxes, he makes about $5,000 per month, which comes out to about $61,000 per year. Again, just basic pay. Wait till we get into a senior chief's benefits. Right. Nevertheless, that's about $31,000 more than Cody was making. So that's about double. Years. Yeah. Yeah. More than double. Suck it. Yeah. About. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> cool. Uh, Jocko? Oh, so you want to do it? I thought we were just going to cover everyone. So, oh, like, just go. No, I think it's fun to match the basic, like, whatever. Okay, we're no, about. I I can do that too. Yeah, that okay. works. Okay. okay, so for Jocko, we have two numbers. Obviously, like I talked about earlier, I said like there, but I used it as like a trans. I said that one didn't count, I think, so I have to I take think, one out. Think, this, but I said I, like as a transition. Actually, I don't think there's. To a, use this, I think because no we're excuses. talking about using like as a filler. I know, but like I want to. I want it to. I know, and but I took shots based on using it in a sentence. I think we should just totally scratch it for this episode. That it's better training. So you, okay, you, instead of saying like, got, you say three on here. such as. No more likes, just such as. But sometimes like <laughs> makes more sense than using I, such as. Such as you as a friend. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, so for Jocko, two numbers E five O four. So the E five base pay, Jocko. This would be assuming three years in service, but probably had a little bit more, but I couldn't find the exact number in when you switch or whatever. So I have 3,100 or almost 32 is 3,100, $3,187 base pay. Okay. And that would be per month. So, you know, with military paychecks, you divide it by two because you get paid every two weeks. The Jocko as a lieutenant commander, lieutenant commander Jocko, base pay. Which is an 04, by the way. 04. 8,500. 8500 So per, per we're talking per month, right? Per month. So yeah. divided by four, two, you know, to get 4000 per But that's paycheck, before right? taxes. Did you do the after taxes? I did, but not in the like... Okay. The not, oh, I said like, but yeah, not in the basic pay like that. Okay. Well, the so that's the thing though. The You're only taxed on the basic pay. Didn't we confirm that? I believe that's how it operates. Yep. Only on basic okay. pay. Okay. So he seems like he before taxes in total per year he's making about $102,000 per year which puts him in the it's over 22% tax bracket. So senior chief Ben Randall was in the 22% tax bracket. Cody and I we were in the 12 12 and Jocko would be I don't know what the next increment is but so he taxed a little more. Jocko sure. is 24. Okay. So yeah. All right. Cool. So, and Jocko, I did the math. He's making $23,000 per year more than Senior Chief Ben Randall. And again, Senior Chief had 32 years. That's why it's not that much, even though Jocko's an officer. Yeah, and Jocko only did, or so not only is a bad way to say that, but 
he did 20 years of service. So he got paid at the 18 or over mark for that 04 pay. Yeah. Right. Lastly, as far as him in comparison to Cody's yearly average, he's Jocko was making about $68,000 more than Cody. This is just the basic pay, not in total. Okay. Now let's get into the benefits. 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 Okay. Hmm. Uh, next. They're not really benefits. It's more special pay. And- yeah, I'm moving on to Tabasco sauce now. So okay. we'll go. We'll start with the basic allowance for housing, which military folks call B A H. I'm a little worried about the Tabasco. I know people are probably this pathetic, but yeah, that's pretty pathetic. You, but I think you're good with spicy stuff normally. I am good. So I, yeah. I wish Canada had spicier things, but I feel like I have to go to one of these exotic stores. To get exotic it. stores. Yeah. Yeah. Go to Mexico Town. Okay. So B A H myself as an E four without dependents. So this is where certain things affect how much you're getting paid. So B A H the basic allowance for housing, this money to go towards your housing. Myself without having any kids or a wife in Michigan, I was making a. I would make today approximately thirteen hundred dollars per month, which is fifteen about fifteen k per year, just on this B A H. And remember, what's cool about BH, you get that number, that basic allowance for housing, regardless of where you live. You can live in your car, and that 15K is going straight into Papa Vince's pocket. So, right. you know, you can get roommates or you can get a pimp mansion and spend it all away. Regardless, you're keeping the whole amount. It's going to you. How are you invested? It's your, your problem. Now, Cody, as an E4 without kids, as far as I know, being in humble Bay, California, he's going to get approximately eleven hundred dollars per month, which is about thirty k per year, just in housing right. allowance. Now, Senior Chief Ben Randall, being in Kodiak, Alaska, he was making about twenty three hundred dollars per month, which equivalents to twenty eight k per year, and that's about fifteen thousand more than Cody was making on that. Yep. Yeah. And for the Jocko, I'll skip the E five Jocko for BAH. So yep. BAH. E4 with dependence because he was... O4. Did I say E4? Yeah. Yeah, so okay. Definitely not E4. O4. BH with dependence in San Diego, which is where he was stationed, I believe, most of the time. 3,500. Mm. Yeah. And let me do that yearly calc because I didn't actually do that calculation, but I'll do it real quick. So you're going to want to multiply by 12, Cody, because there's 12 oh. months in a year. So right. that's how you convert months into years i was a little confused on that that's what you get when you have x rescue swimmers operating a financial (laughs) podcast okay forty two thousand. Forty two thousand. just in housing allowance yeah that's more than that's a lot more than you were making in your basic pay jesus well he has to have a nice place oh does he he has kids three car garage (laughs) again it's also san diego though san diego is really expensive Oh, based in San Diego, right. So San yeah. Francisco is one of those that's probably even more than San Diego. Oh, it'd be more. Yeah, yeah. Now, Mr. Cody, what are you going to do when you go to Humboldt Bay, California? Are you going to get a roommate? I'm just renting a place. You think I have you... a roommate. Oh, you already set one up? I already have a place, yeah. I have a roommate. So interesting enough, you know, with different air stations, some of them have, you know, government housing. Some of them have no housing. You get BAH. So in, in Detroit, we both were on BAH because there was no government housing. Humboldt's kind of mixed, so it just depends on if they have availability. I ended up getting BAH, so I got a roommate. How did you find your roommate? Uh, Craigslist. Oh. <laughs> you, yeah. you, think you had a conversation. He seems like a he or she sounds like a cool dude. Or stand up. A stand up gentleman. Okay. Cool. Right on. So yeah, hopefully it worked out. Are you are hopefully. you picky about no, like great. dishes and stuff? Are you like I'm actually kind of picky oh, it. on cleanliness. So I that's one of the things I screen for is finding a place that's going to be clean, mm-hmm. you know? So this place seems like it will be. Right. I, I remember going to school in New Zealand and there was a scale of cleanliness in seeking a roommate and you would slide <laughs> this bar up and down. I put it one ding off of full max. Oh, yeah. Two. See, yeah. I'd be I'd max that out. You'd max out? <laughs> I would max out on that. I remember when you lived with Nate, who we had on the podcast, y'all's place was not that clean. Yeah. See, that's the thing, though. I'm really picky because throughout the years, I've decided how cleanly, clean I want a place, and that would not pass these days, you know. Mm. So I would, I would pretty, max it out. 
update on me. I'm pretty much, I'm probably getting my own place. Um, Damn it. Moving forward. <laughs> I just kind of like the privacy. Mm, I said like in a, yeah. in a phrase sentence. Okay. Moving on. So the next thing is basic allowance for substance. That means food. That's fixed for enlisted folks. Do, do officers get that, Cody? BS. Yeah, they do. That's ridiculous. Um, they make all no. the money and they need more food for groceries. Come on. <laughs> it's right. it's pretty it's not much of a difference but it's just slightly different i right. forgot what it was exactly but they do this tabasco is kicking in i'm getting a little hot you bought habanero sauce too right i forget what is in tabasco yeah i did it's I like cayenne habanero. probably that's my next one what is it is it cayenne it's it's in french fabrique de piment spécial au fermenté dans les it's not saying oh yeah, the French like to keep it a secret. Well, I think Frank's is cayenne, so it's red pepper, pipe. piment rouge, okay. red pepper, and salt. So it's nothing. It's pathetic. I'm moving on yeah. to the next one in a second, which is yeah. increasing it by. Do we at least so, have a jalapeno level? So Tabasco is three thousand seven hundred fifty. I don't know what a jalapeno is. It's around there, I think, slightly hotter. Okay, and then the next one, I'm about to increase it to eighty thousand. So this was three. Yeah, I'm at. I'm already at eighty. Okay, I need to catch up. Yeah. <laughs> Let's move on. This is getting sad. Here we go. I'm going to put this on my egg tomorrow, though, because it's kind of good. Yeah. These have been delicious, to be honest. Yeah. I'm getting full. Yeah. A little hot, but full. So, basic allowance for substance. It seems like everyone gets the same amount. $372 per month, which comes out to 4.4K per year. Did you get that same amount, Cody? For what? For the substance, the food money. Yeah, roughly. Yeah. Okay. Um, and like like we said, doesn't um that's approximate, so... We're okay. not saying it's precise, but and also I guess the disclaimer we should have talked about before we went off and started all this whole this whole spiel is don't we're not accountants. I don't know if we mentioned that. So don't like don't go and use our episode as a way to, you know, like talk to your lawyer or your accountant and say, Oh, I listened to this podcast and they said they said pre you don't get taxed on this and then you like don't file taxes right and you mess up and then blame RSM podcast. Don't do that. Yeah, <laughs> I said like a few times there, so I just got a bunch on here. Just, oh, spoonful, oh, so much. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna. How about this? I think this sh- podcast isn't gonna be that long anyway. We shouldn't. I've been cheating. I occasionally had. I think I've had three sips of milk. No more. No more. We just. Oh, I have, I'm not doing milk. I have a little carbonated water over here, but that's about it. How about no more? Just well, the carbonated water I just like. <laughs> you mean you? I appreciate, and it's delicious. Yeah. <laughs> I'd say you need to drink. By the way, we're going to do this with shots, but Mr. Cody Coasty over here was very smart and educated in his career and said, probably not. And to be fair, I was second guessing it too. But yeah, we're we going to do be shots hammered. of vodka. We would be so drunk. Yeah, but it'd be kind of fun. Of yeah. <laughs> anyway, moving on. That'd be a Joe Rogan podcast. Yeah. I want to smoke cigars on the next World Entertainment podcast, which, oh, yeah, yeah, the next episode, well, there's one last episode in episode 10 coming out, and then episode 11 will be off the air of Risk Storm Mindset. It's going to be its own thing. And I'm going to curse up a storm. And I think I'm going to smoke a cigar. Maybe have a That's cool. little scotch. A little scotch on the air. Yeah. So. Sweet. All right. Now we're getting into special pays. Those were just the ad and pays. But now we get into specific things that you get depending on what you do in the military and different situations that you encounter. So we'll start with special duty assignment pay. That is basically rescue swimmer pay. So Jocko yeah, Williams. it's there's special duty assignment pay for a lot of different jobs in the Coast Guard. And there's a like a list. I said, like, I'll fix that in a second. But there's a list of different jobs that get SDAP. And there's a scale from one to four, I think, of how much SDAP you get. And rescue swimmers get, I think, the max. I think they get SDP, it's SDAP four. And it's whatever number you have. So what is that okay. number? My mouth is really hot, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to talk. My armpits are hot. I think I'm just keep, keep the sweater on because I'm dressed like dollar dollar bills, which is relevant to the <laughs> podcast. So special duty pay from what I found in my research, it's about three hundred dollars per month, which comes out to three point six thousand dollars per year. That's Seems nice. Ben Randall gets that same amount. So Cody and Ben Randall get the same amount at three point six K per year. What uh what about Navy SEALs, Cody? What do they get? Special I mean they're doing well. Do you want to talk about the is the flight pay also or do you want to i was about hold on that was the next should i do that next let's just go into that and then we'll talk about the seals okay so flight pay i believe is hazard duty incentive i think it is 
Right. I can confirm so, that, you know, maybe next week when I get to work. <laughs> yeah, we were too lazy to pull up our old pay stubs to actually do this. But based on our research, flight pay hopefully is hazardous duty incentive pay. And there's different pays for crew and non-crew member. We were crew members being on the helicopters. So that's $165 per month for an E4. So that's rank dependent, rate and rank dependent. So $165 per month for Cody. And that's $2,000 per year. And senior So I rank. actually, I don't know if you read anything about this. Yep. And we can talk about it later. It, and like we said, it's approximate. But I thought it increases every like four years. So mm. it's roughly a hundred bucks more every four years if I had if I remember right. But I don't actually know. Well, but there's a case. Scale, I like don't recall. Mentioned. I recall us making approximately that much, and that was years and years ago. So, but yeah, it makes years. sense. But yeah, approximate and not sure on the fine details. But we're just trying cool. to give you a rough number. That said, senior chief makes two hundred forty per month. So again, Cody made one sixty. Senior chief, 240 per month, which is 3K per year versus Cody's 2K, just on, fl- on flight pay. Cool. Uh, what do we got for... Yeah, here we go. Okay. I said it. I'm excited. Momento is that the habanero? Muerto. Yeah, here we go. Nice. For real. So now I finally... This is about what I'm at. Yeah. All right, so I'll do a big strip to catch up. A big old... It's hot. Oh, oh it's, it's like really a lot of liquid. It's not very... The viscosity is kind of off on that. Oh, uh, Why do they screw you do with the... Do you have to shake sw- it? They screw you with the... Sw- Maybe. I'll do it again. But... They screw you with the sweetness, so you don't feel like it's hot. I don't know. That well, habaneros so far. Ha- habaneros are are um, sweet. They're kind of sweet. They have a like a, a tang, kind of a sweet tang. Here's the deal. I have about six or seven at least drops. No, probably like ten drops because I spilled some on the. I needed to get a spoon. I spilled about a lot on my desk, so I'm gonna do my next one as a lick, like a body shot. So it wasn't hot based on the first? So far, nothing. Dude, Canada is a disgrace when it comes to hot sauce. You might just have to open up the habanero pepper. Yeah. Well, anyway, I'm shaking it. I'll try it again. How about I just lick it? I'm going for it. (laughs) Oh, shoot. Is it hot? (laughs) Well, I took a lot and it kind of tastes like barbecue sauce. Oh. Man, I wish there was the, what was the one? The highest... To, oh. It was a Tabasco sauce that you were looking at. Yeah, so I might just have to go buy this, but it was the the scorpion pepper, so it's like two million Scoville, right? Which you died. Tabasco scorpion pepper, and it was in a special box on the top shelf. Yeah, I saw some in special boxes at my grocery store, but they didn't have anything with a skull on. Yeah, this one was specific. Well, it had a, it had a scorpion on it, right? Yeah, because it's scorpion pepper. So um, didn't buy it. It didn't have a price. Like I didn't even see a price on the thing. I'm gonna love with you. This is this is pathetic. I'm gonna okay. start drinking it from the bottle. <laughs> Open up the habanero pepper. I think I will. I will. But I'm gonna next next time. Oh, I, I mess up, I'm gonna straight up. That drink. might mess with your stomach to see not drinking hot sauce. It's fine. It's, it's worth it. We do this <laughs> right. for the people. Yeah. So subscribe on your favorite podcast app and re- leave us a rating review, and we'll torture ourselves more. We'll jump off a balcony next time. <laughs> My mouth's getting a little slurry. Yeah. Same. Okay. So we're talking. Navy SEAL pay now. And Vince and I aren't or weren't ever Navy SEALs, so we don't really know exactly all the pay they get. I'm sure that's, we've missed some, but we're providing you that approximate number. So the ones that I could kind of dig up, and it seemed that most SEALs get. <laughs> all right. That reaction was great. The accounting reaction there. I want to know. Okay. <laughs> so there's a bunch of different pays. The first one was jump pay. So that would just be for, I'm assuming their jump status. So they do free falls, you know, they do like halo jumps. They do all that. So that, from what I see, ranged from 150 to 225. So I'm assuming that is based on how many, maybe how many jumps or how long you've been jump qualified. Okay. Next one, dive pay. So we're all per month here. Yeah. Per month? This is per month. Yeah, this is all per month. Yeah. Yeah. And I can do some little quick math if you want to know. Well, it's pretty year. easy. That, yeah, that was like yeah. 2,400. Exactly. Yeah. Um, there's an um. So I've said um and like so far. So I have two dabs at the end of this whole spiel. Dive pay, 150 to 340, which is pretty solid, you know? And like I said, the scale is going to be like we were talking about earlier based on time diving. What How else? much? Demolition status? What? How much one more time for a dive? 150 to 340. So it's a big, big scale there. Okay. 
Demolition status, which I don't know what that is. I don't necessarily, I looked at that too. I don't think they would fall under that category, but maybe. I mean, okay. I feel like there's something related to combat. Yeah, there's a bunch. That's the thing. Here we there's go. There's a bunch of, okay. Oh my gosh, that was, that was so much, dude. Is that hot or no? That's crazy. It's not, not that bad. I'm. That's crazy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So demolition status, we don't know. There's a lot of different pays that come with being deployed, but we did the thing. I didn't know how to calculate because I've never been in the Navy or anything is like, so if you're deployed, when do you get that? Cause you're only deployed for maybe, maybe you're deployed four to six months. You probably only get it then. So then you have to calculate it into half a year, but not the whole year. And you do get like some sort of separation pay when you're away from your family. But so it's called know. hardship pay. And I'm not sure because I just I gave a phone call to one of my yeoman buddies, the paper pushers and Coast Guard. And he said that occasionally Coasties, when they're separated from their family over 30 days, they get like 200. Oh, they get like 200. Oh, they get $250,000. They're $250 per month. So I'm assuming it'd be more if you go overseas to Afghanistan. But what I saw for hardship pay. Yeah, it's anywhere between 150 and 250. It's actually $150 if you go to Northwest Territories of Canada. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, well, here's damn. the top. As far as the Jocko pay goes, I would add, you know, we're low. That's a lot of hot Ooh. sauce. <laughs> what if I just tank this bottle by the, oh, <laughs> by the end of this podcast? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we're lowballing it on the Jocko scale, so. He probably got slightly more than what we're saying. Yeah. The other thing that you get as far as incentive goes for being abroad or far away, is, especially in these combat zones, is assignment incentive pay. So if they extend your assignment due to service needs, I, I assume. Oh, geez. Then, <laughs> then the... I can't even think right now. The, <laughs> it's, it's pretty hot. <laughs> I hear ringing in my ears, and I don't know if it's just pot <laughs> the, the headphones. So, the, the, I can't think. The assignment incentive pay can range from, I believe, eight hundred to a thousand dollars per month. And again, this is if they extend your duty without your prior consent or at least your initial agreement. Okay. Yeah. So that's significant. A thousand dollars a month. It's a lot yeah. of money. Yeah. That's a lot. $12, okay. Thousand dollars. So. Year. No, that's. Do you want to wait? Ten thousand dollars. That's. I'm terrible at math. Ten thousand or one thousand dollars? Yeah, that's twelve thousand dollars per year. Who this hot sauce? Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. So my big, I guess you want to get into the big running total of Jocko pay while he was an 04, like per year. Uh, here we go. Not quite because there's a couple added pays that I want to talk about for military folks. Okay. Mm. So, oh my god. That's so much sauce. That was a lot. <laughs> just so you know, this, like this bottle, oh, I just said it again. This bottle was to the brim. Now it's that's too there. much hot sauce. <laughs> My armpits are sweating. <laughs> so, yeah, the other thing we did mention is one thing I sh- not should have gotten, but I was qualified to get for foreign language proficiency pay. So I was technically ranked the highest you could as a French translator in the Coast Guard, which could have been really beneficial, but there's only about three slots that they use French people in the Mm. Coast Guard. I don't really know where or when, but since I was like one of the few, uh, since I was one of the few that was ranked that high, (laughs) I was eligible eligible to get $300 per month, but I never actually got that because they never, it's only if they use you. It's not just because you qualify. I remember taking that test and, it's a no joke test. They have you reading these articles. So it's all in French, but you have to translate it in English. They have you read these really analytical articles, like oh, I just said again, journal articles. And you have to read between the lines as to the intent of the author. So it's not like what, ah, uh, it's not what <laughs> a dog is in French. It's yeah. read this. Here's A, B, C, and D. Figure out what you think this author meant to say. Not what he said. What you think he meant to say. That makes sense, though. They want they want to have someone who can actually 
I got it fairly, but I, proficient, I, but you, I guess I did really go. Yeah, well, <sighs> that would make sense. But that's good that you did well. It's almost <sighs> like taking an SAT. It was very similar. It was high stress. I don't know why I did it. I think I did it to get a day off of grinding and painting the boat. And nice. I thought it would just be a cool qualification to maybe get extra money. So that was one extra pay. And then the other one, I couldn't quite find a number associated to, but I know sometimes we got clothing allowance, which wasn't much, but it was like, yeah, it's not that. I forget. Uh, what it it's not that much. It was about <laughs> 200 to 300 dollars per year. So it's just, yeah, that makes it's sense. all these little things that sometimes you don't look at on your paycheck, but it's there. They add up. And it adds up to the grand totals, which we'll get into. But before we get into the grand totals, this show is sponsored by Habanero <laughs> Pepper. Should we, Cody? Oh, <sighs> let's wait because we, we want to cover the content and then we'll get to the habaneros because yeah, but the content these are going to wreck total. The habanero is going to destroy you like you're going to. Yeah, be but down. you don't think we can mention these couple of numbers, the total numbers? With- I don't think so. You don't think we're going to be able to do it with the habanero? <laughs> I don't think so. All right. How about we take I, a bite of the habanero? Like a little. You don't want to take t- a bite of. You oh, want to take it again. I, I think you we should take, take the whole habanero. The small, no, I can't. There's no way. Why? I'm not doing that. It's so bad. Dude, I've done it before. Weak. You don't even know. Have you had get, one before? Get with the program. Have you ever had a habanero pepper before? Oh, by oh you're the guy from, <laughs> you know, that's got some south experience as far as being near hot stuff can't handle the habanero i'm canadian Dude, I'm, Come I'm going on. with that sliver right there well if we're going with that sliver let's do that before we do the total i'm gonna do it right now because i don't yeah, know if we'll this is actually the hot part because sometimes you, okay right okay so we Top both sliver do wait make go go profile go profile to the camera so people see. well it's the sliver yeah okay but yeah do it like this. okay ready okay <laughs> so this is supposed to be hot don't you need to Hold get on. the seeds? Yeah, I think you do, actually. That's why so, I think we should cut it open and take a slice. Do you have a knife? Uh, I'll get right. a knife. Oh, cut I just the, did it again. Shot. Come, cut into the middle, and we're going to take a little slice, kind of like a little I'll jalapeno slice. You okay. keep them entertained. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cut into my jalapeno pepper, in, or my habanero pepper right now. So we're going to do a little slice, just like you would when you put a little jalap- jalapeno pepper on like a hamburger or something. All right. So I got my slice right here. Oh wait, hold on. That's not a good slice. Oh, it's gonna be hot. My eyes okay. were watering on the way to getting scissors. I got scissors. I don't know if that counts. This is my slice. I'm gonna cut it in half. Try not to cut my finger. I think this is gonna be <sighs> quite hot. Why do you have a scissors? <laughs> well, cool people cut and do. I guess they. That's it for seeds. It's not much. Yeah, they're kind of mine's low too. Maybe it's not in season or something. I don't know. <sighs> but should we just do a half then? Yeah, I think we I should do a, a half. Ha- I have a good slice. I think it's gonna be hot. If it's not hot, I'll be honest and I'll get another piece. <sighs> but we'll. You ready? I'm gonna. I'm gonna do a quarter. Okay. I think that's fair. And this is just my eyes. Are hopefully, water. we don't say like again after this. And I think it's a good consequence. I I felt like I'm. Oh, that was in a sentence, but I'm. It's gonna, fine. All right, let's get it. You ready? I'm going to use the other one, the 85 Scoldfield, <laughs> to water it down. Man. You ready? Cheers, buddy. Cheers. <laughs> so far, it just tastes oh. like a, a orange pepper. It's really hot. <laughs> Is it? I haven't cooked in yet. Oh. oh <laughs> You're drinking already? Come on, hold it in. <laughs> <laughs> it's so hot. <laughs> It's in my neck. <laughs> oh, right. God. I can't. How hot? How do you feel? It was getting hot it's, behind my glasses. It gets really hot, like, in a couple minutes. It gets hotter over the minutes. I wonder if we got gotten redder. <laughs> so let's calculate these totals. You look really red right now. It's very hot. <sighs> okay, totals. So, again, there's the basic pay. Cody's basic pay was $30,000 per year. That's just the basic pay. But we talked about the basic allowance for housing. So for Cody's, it was thirty uh, $13,000 a year. His basic food money was $4,000 a year. And all the extra pays, the, the flight pay and the hazard pay as a swimmer, <laughs> equivalates to. Woo. Here we go. Sorry. I was looking at my numbers here. I, I can't really see very well right now. Four thousand four hundred twenty-seven 
dollars per month and that is approximately fifty three thousand dollars 43k per year after taxes oh. yeah and for my own pay i was pretty close to cody but i had less years of service times 12 50, about 53k so cody had he was making about 200 bucks more per year than me at six okay years. So, but that was because this is that's because I compared the basic allowance for housing in Michigan to yours. That's going to be in California, Michigan. Surprisingly, in that area, you make on the zip code, you make more money than you're going to make in California. Oddly, because it's California. But yeah, really, yeah. I think we should uh, eat. Just eat it. Because no I'm, I'm about to do some she Ben Randall, and then we only have Jocko, and then we're good to go. So we're not just going to stick around eating these and have people listen to us. So they want to know the numbers. Again, 53000 after taxes for Cody as a rescue swimmer in E4. I'm going to... Shall we? I'm not eating the whole pepper. Come on. No way. I got to go climbing later. <laughs> oh, you got to go climbing? What? That your fingers are going to be spicy? Come on. Get with it. You can drink some milk after. And stop drinking water. You house. drink... You just watered it down. Water makes it activated. It makes it spicier. Oh. So how about we... How about you? Come on. Just a little bit. Just just a little bit. No way. Oh, just a little bit. If you eat that, you don't have to talk again in this podcast. You're going to be done. All right. Come at me, dude. I'm just going in. The whole thing. Good luck. It's a, it's a delicious pepper, though, isn't it? Just a really spicy. Oh. It's so hot, dude. I don't know oh. why you did that. <laughs> I can't believe you didn't do that. Come on. You're going to let your homie out? To drown alone here on air? I'm slightly convinced that your pepper is not as hot as mine. I thought we were a team. All right, here we're going to the Jocko pay. Are you serious? You're, you're deferring? Pressure? There's no way I'm eating. I'm not eating the whole pepper. I got to do stuff later today. It's going to put me out of commission. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, all right. So, wait, wait. You, we just skipped over senior chief. Oh, you only did us so far? So I was like out when I was. Okay, go ahead. $53,000 per year is what Cody made in E4. <laughs> Senior Chief Ben, uh, sorry, that's about uh, 4.4K per month. Senior Chief Ben Randall makes about 8K, 8.3K per month, which comes out to 100.5K per year after taxes. <coughs> so that is, that's $4,000 more per month than Cody makes, and that's $47,000 $47, more than Cody makes per year. So yeah, that, nice. that's a lot of money. That, but that's thirty-two years of C of a senior chief pay, which is in the E eight, which rarely happens. They rarely go up to thirty-two years. So that's a lot of money, hundred thousand K after taxes. But again, you rarely go that long. That's true. Oh. Okay. Okay. We're gonna go into Jocko. I'll never say like or I'm again. <laughs> So for the scorpion one, I've seen those mm -hmm. ones. Those wreck people. Uh, you got to go on YouTube and just watch people uh, eat those things. Okay. Jocko. Hold on, hold on. All right. Jocko monthly after taxes was making ten thousand five hundred seventy-eight. Or every paycheck, he was making fifty two hundred, or about fifty three, depending on how you round your numbers. Fifty three hundred, and that's BAH with dependents. If you multiply that by ten, he was making roughly one hundred and five thousand. Wait, by ten? You mean by twelve? By twelve, sorry. Like, <laughs> oh god, let me do my math different. <laughs> so if you multiply multiply that by twelve, it was around, um, roughly hundred ten, hundred fifteen thousand, depending on. Special pay and all that per year. And that's after tax. I think it's 126 based on what I got here. It could be. It could be because we use different incentive pay and all that too. Yeah. So. Um, all right. A lot more. So you could say roughly, you know. I, I mean, 126K. So, 126. Yeah. Jocko, 126,000. Senior Chief Ben Randall, 47,000. Or sorry, 100,000. So again, yeah. Jocko, 126K. Senior Chief, 100K. Cody, 53K. And yeah. so if you break down and do some some subtractions, uh, uh, Jocko was 
making about twenty six thousand dollars more per year than Ben Randall and Jocko was making about seventy four thousand more than Cody. Pretty cool. Good. That's all we have. Sweet. You're going that to California was... starting. Yeah, hopefully soon. I th- yeah, I'll, I'll probably be off for an episode or two while you take over, and I hope I'll be in California by then. Sweet. A couple weeks here. A good one that's coming up is that um, retired. Are we gonna talk about that or no? Yeah, you still have to take a shot. Yeah, we'll talk about. It. Oh yeah, you're right. So uh, I just attended a retired Navy SEALs. He runs discussion groups for mental health and development and physical health and development. So that's what he did as an officer. He was in a command position for the SEAL Team Sixes and different folks in different areas in the SEAL Team. So we'll have that down the road. We're also going to have a few weeks. Yeah, we're also going to have another Navy rescue swimmer, but also one that was an instructor and a master's program educator. So he should really be good for us to break down swimming form and technique. Uh, I'm curious to what he has to say on, on the form with gear, you know? Yeah. Speaking of form and gear, our class, I'm currently editing it. Should come out in a month or two. And yeah, that's the perfect form class. So tune in on our different social medias and we'll post about it when it's released. And if you want to perfect your form, swim with fluidity and accuracy. Huh, yeah. Then the perfect form class will be out and nice and edited. Awesome. Multiple yeah. online video courses. Also, rsm.com, rescuermizer.com, tons of workout programs. Big thing for us, though, is going on to the Apple Podcast page, leaving a rating and review. We're up to 89. I checked. We're at, we're at 89 ratings and reviews, or just ratings. So we want to break 100 and just keep getting more because those will go a long way because people always, you know, they're just scrolling through podcasts. They would look at the reviews and they want to know if they want to listen to it. Probably going to want to listen to this hot sauce episode. What's our worst review <sighs> on there? Can you look? You should. Oh, look let right me now. look it up real quick. Yeah, actually, Say, that's read what he hilarious. said. Yeah, okay, hold on. Or he, she said. Yeah, he or she. The it's anonymous, kind of like you have a little screen name. Um. Okay, so good five star reviews recently. Okay, this was. I, I'm just gonna go through the the lower reviews. See if we get how many we have. So this one goes December 18th, 2020. Needs some work, but it's getting better. Three stars. <laughs> Fair. Hey. <coughs> Honestly, that's so hot, dude. I don't know how you ate the whole pepper. Honestly, that's insane. Who's the um, alpha dog now? Five stars. Dude, <laughs> a whole habanero. That's not. That's insane. Good job. Pro- okay. I'm going to well, have to take a shower after this. I'm hot. No, actually, that's the worst review that's that it. I see. Wildertainment got a two star, I believe, without two any, any without any review. It was just a rating. Two oh, star. so we, you know, you know, yeah, they, we have a couple like one star ratings, but there's yeah. no, yeah, those are just reviews. Yeah, but okay, so if you leave one up star, to one star, have the balls to tell us why is yeah, it because of like, why. is it because be. of my, is it because he's Canadian? Is it because I'm Canadian? Is it because of the flag? Sweet, this episode has been on YouTube and sponsored by Taco Bell, habanero peppers, and <laughs> not Taco Bell. No. If what if sponsor what if Taco Bell asked for a sponsor like they say hey we want to sponsor your your RSM podcast I don't think I'd accept that Taco Bell is a pimp company you know when articles came out big news right they addressed I believe Taco Bell sixty percent no forty percent meat sixty percent wood chips Taco Bell release a post on twitter to respond and said hey 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 that's not accurate at all we are 70 percent wood chips and 30 percent meat (laughs) oh god they actually did that that's hilarious they have some marketing ballsiness and i really it's just some it's like some 20 20 21 year old on their twitter account they just hire them to do that all day just respond to people well i like how they talk (laughs) shit in between all fast food companies it's really funny they, they have some good banter back and forth it's, that's pretty good it's actually. fun competition whoever's running that is, is good yeah, yeah i like taco bell it makes me i've had it in a while but happy yeah i used to like it i used to eat there they had a good crunch wrap supreme you're all about chipotle you about. should have a chipotle membership card i honestly should i should do get you have a points card? they have to have a points card i they don't i don't think they do i eat there so much i eat chipotle all the time and i don't think they have one in eureka 
uh, where I'm moving. Oh, I don't think they have die. one, and I'm really bummed about that. I looked into opening one as a franchise because really, I think in this type of climbing town or just outdoorsy <laughs> sport town, that thing would explode. Regardless, you don't even have to market it. Slim to no market. <laughs> it would just be packed day and night. And oh, I was yeah. looking into what you know steps you would have to take to make that happen. Turns out they don't do it anymore. They're Chipotle is buying all their franchises back and oh, managing cool. to get themselves, especially in Canada, it's really almost impossible to do now. So, yeah. okay, well, good to know. I think we should wrap up this podcast. Bye bye. Thanks for listening. Talk soon. <laughs>